Welcome to another Impartial Theorists. We're back this week with uh, some of the latest uh, controversies in the news, and uh, there's no shortage this week. Yeah, some are interesting, some are just regular bullshit, but we'll get through it. Yeah, so starting things off with uh, Elon Musk, who's managed to just stay in the news and yeah, dig himself further and further into a hole. Yeah. Uh, it all started with these uh, Thai boys that got stuck in a cave, yeah. and this British diver, Vernon Unsworth. Uh, uh, yeah, so somebody made a tweet about <laughs> Elon Musk should save the boys. He tried to come up with this yeah. submarine yeah. thing. And basically people are saying that Elon Musk was trying to seek attention. We talked about that in a previous episode, and Elon Musk responded by calling the British diver a pedo, a child rapist, and a, and a participant in sex tourism. Basically, he goes there for the little, like, and I think these words were to lady boys or some shit. But. Yeah, and so without any evidence, although, I don't know, didn't he, like, claim that he knew, he heard something? Yeah, he something had proof and, and shit, it. and that he would, then, if, if he didn't have proof, the guy would have sued him. No, no, yeah, yeah, the yeah. guy already put yeah, yeah. plans in place to sue him previously. But now we found out that... Yeah, he's like, well, then he should sue me for defamation. Yeah, well, it turns out has, Vernon Onsworth is suing Elon Musk for defamation. He's already started in L.A. and he's planning to, to file two in London, which this is going to add a little bit of a weird like caveat to this situation because in London or the U.K., the 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 defendant has to prove like Elon Musk has to prove that he that Unsworth is a pedo and he participated in the sex whatever to win the case. But in the US Unsworth has to prove that he isn't a pedo. So in, it's easier to win in the US than in the UK. Because in the UK Elon Musk clearly doesn't have any proof. So he's gonna lose. You need to bring proof that he's a pedo to win that case. But in, in the US, he doesn't have to do that. Unsworth has to prove that he's not a pedo. Which he can to win a do. defamation case? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, that he said something that was false that caused harm to his image as a public figure. Which mm. I don't really think he is, but... Anyway, he's suing Elon, Elon Musk for $75,000, which is... Which is basically nothing yeah. to Elon Musk, so it kind of would make the most sense if he just paid him off and got over it. Yeah, because the longer the longer he takes this case takes, the more the money's gonna be because he has to pay the lawyer fees too if he loses. In in the UK and in America. Mm-hmm. So he might as well just pay this shit off now and end it. And go move on to the next shit that he's gonna do. Cause the the first like manned space flight to the moon and like first private space flight to the moon is gonna bring along way more attention that might just overlap the ship and people forget about it. If you use the prompt method, you should be good. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep blasting the media with or just, just doing more and more shit to yeah. bury it. Yeah, and there'll be also a, there'll definitely be a SpaceX launch pretty soon. Like after this other one, so shit. Yeah, I mean, Elon Musk has a weird following because, like, so people that like him are pretty loyal and pretty into, like, everything that he does. But, he's like Steve Jobs. But I think he's a pretty, like, mixed character. And, like, he's a weird dude. He's, nothing yeah. is consistent about him. Yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah, and then so also a tweet that he sent out about... Uh, I mean, he says he was joking about uh, making selling all the shares to Tesla yeah. and now that actually caused a probe um, an investigation into Tesla I don't think I put anything in it yeah um, who is it that's investigating him though? I think it's the FCC okay US Justice Department oh. that's right, so. Yeah, but he was already being investigated before, but they stepped everything up after this. 
So yeah, the Department of Justice is opening a criminal, criminal inquiry into statements Musk made about plans to take the troubled car company private. So Tesla's shares dropped over 7% was confirmed by the company yeah, well, oh, bounce back. yeah i mean i think that's the whole thing it's a pretty new company doing a pretty like courageous thing i mean you're trying to introduce a whole new type of car into a market that's dominated by internal combustion yeah, engines but tesla have also done their share of like they they want to have their own dealerships which cannot happen in America because those laws and then there's also lobbies for dealerships so he, he basically circumvents that and just sells his car still I don't know if they've solved it yet if they've solved because he was being sued by a bunch of people was, being sued is nothing new to him being probed is nothing new to him no pun intended <laughs> but. yeah so I mean who knows but it's just like uh you know, once an investigation starts, you never really know what could come out of it. I mean, it could be something totally unrelated, could develop out of this, so... I'm sure it's not, even though maybe he is used to it and knows what to do. His lawyers are good. Yeah. He probably already has lawyers on retainer, so... Yeah. He's gonna be good. Yeah. But yeah, and as far as Vernon Unsworth, yeah. He's gonna get... <laughs> A couple thousand dollars. You should have asked for more, a lot more. Yeah. You lowball that shit way too much. He really did. It's been I, pretty I was modest. thinking it was gonna be a mil. Like, yeah. that's easy for Elon Musk. And he's asking for 75,000. That's cheaper than the Tesla. <laughs> yeah, she just asked for a Tesla. Yeah, but that, that would look bad. Yeah, yeah. that would look yeah. good. But, but yeah, so next topic. Uh, Salt Bay is back and in the Nicholas news. Nicholas Maduro. The fucking simulation is acting up. Everything is weird nowadays, but anyway, Salt Bay from the meme, the Dubai guy that sprinkles the fucking salt on the meat. Nicholas, Nicholas Maduro went to visit him in Dubai whilst a bunch of his population only eats one, one meal a day. They're fucking literally starving to death. And he was... He was... Seen photographed with salt pay. Yeah. Is this the Maduro one? Yeah. I can't tell because he does the same shit for everybody. It's so extra. I know, I'm sad. Look at fucking with the fucking bib with the meme on this shit. Yeah. With a cigar. Like, the least he can do is not be fat when those people are starving. No, he doesn't care at all. And then, so, I think, yeah, he... Uh, Marco Rubio? Well, uh, no, but Maduro, he had he commented on it. I'm looking to see it. Okay, well, yeah, apparently when Maduro was questioned about it or was getting some scrutiny for it, criticized, he started... He was just like saying that it was great and he can't wait to go back um, and that he will be back. So he didn't care at all. I mean, he was loving it and not at all ashamed. So, and I think that just goes to show the <laughs> position he's in, uh, which makes some people really unhappy, including Marco Rubio. And so, but Marco Rubio got really mad at Salt Bay. Yeah, instead of Maduro. Yeah, and then he sort of doxed Salt Bay and gave his address. Well, he actually has a restaurant in Miami, which is like. Yeah, but anybody could look that shit up. Yeah, place. yeah, I know, but still, it's like. It's kind of doxing, this borderline. Yeah. But I don't know, I guess, what do you think about Salt Bay? Do you think. Like, does, does he have a social was... responsibility to not serve dictators? No. Well, this was in Dubai, right? Yeah, but he does this for everybody. That's like, what I'm saying. This can't be the first dictator that's, like, not, not, not concerned by every salt. Single, <laughs> all the football players, <coughs> basketball players and shit all have pictures with him. Like, yeah. doing the exact same fucking routine. Like, this is performance art. Phone's falling off. Yeah. 
I don't blame fucking Salt Bay. I blame Maduro. You should know better. Like, if you're a dictator, at least don't fucking provoke them. You don't want to revolt. Like, yeah. You don't, like, you should learn from every other dictator. They're cool till you start to revolt and then they escalate shit slowly. You don't escalate shit when there's not even a full on revolt yet. Like, people are protesting him, people don't fuck with him, but it's not turned to, it's not turned to Syria level yet, so he needs to chill. Yeah, well, I mean, isn't that, like, his whole thing, though, is that he's just, just like, oh, it's all good, it's mm. great, my people are great. <clears throat> Again, I guess that's something Yeah, but we more than one dictator does. That's yeah, kinda... but that was, you can't do that shit now. We have fucking internet. But, shit. Anyway, the last thing that we need to talk about is fucking Brett Kavanaugh. Yeah, and so this last week, it's just been so many crazy twists. Um, it seemed like Brett Kavanaugh was pretty much set to seal that conservative majority on the Supreme Court. And then uh, at a last minute announcement, um, there's been some uh, sexual assault like allegation. He, he, he I mean, basically that he tried to rape somebody in high school, mm -hmm. like forcefully. And of course he denies it, and now we're in this like really weird situation, which probably even by the time this comes out, who knows what's gonna even have happen? Because it's all supposed to this is Friday, and Monday is supposed to be this hearing, and uh, that she is supposed to speak and he is supposed to speak, but first she said she would do it, Brett Kavanaugh said he would do it, and then she wanted an FBI investigation. Uh, Senate Judiciary Committee basically said that's not going to happen. Trump said that's not going to happen. And so now she's kind of like, maybe I'll come, but it's not going to be on Monday. And so we're kind of just waiting for this whole thing to pan out. But the, what's just crazy about it is like, I don't know, I guess the reactions and like the division. And it almost seems in a lot of ways like it's different than Anita Hill and Clarence Thomas. But in a lot of ways it seems really similar because the way just... I don't know, that like, the gender divide is playing out and just like how men, especially conservative men, are just all basically saying she's wrong. I mean, they've said things like, she is mixed up, she doesn't, she needs to get her story straight or something, or like, no one is really taking it seriously, even though they keep saying that, like, oh, we're gonna hear her out, we need to take it seriously. They keep but downplaying it. All yeah. of all of it's within the context is that this is just politics, and like every conservative pundit, I spent like an hour watching Fox News for you guys. That was fucking horrible. <laughs> God, I'm gonna be have a headache for a couple days now. But yeah, fucking Hannity, Tucker Carlson, all those dudes just like. It did what you they say it's just politics do. because it's like they see it or they're saying that like the Democrats are just delaying this as much as they can because there's the Fucking midterm duh. elections coming what, what's up. What's wrong with that? But yeah, at the same time, like all and they're saying that yeah, this is just to delay, and then if they get control of the Senate, like they can possibly I don't know delay till the freaking <coughs> next yeah. presidential election. But that's transparent as fuck. Anybody who's watched West Wing or any fucking procedure could tell you that's what's fucking happening. It's not... The oh, you think that's what it is? You think it is just politics? That's no, just no. I think that this is an opportunity that has come up for the Democrats. And they, they see it as they're going to do two things. Get justice for this woman and also further their cause. And those go hand in hand together. So, fuck it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, my honest assessment is that I don't think, yeah, I mean, I do think maybe the Democrats are like, realize this is an opportunity, but I yeah. think kind of first and foremost is like taking it seriously. Like, why not? And yeah, what's the rush? That's, and, like, I think that's, that's, that's what I think is weird about the conservatives is right now is they're just like, it's been a week. We can't wait. We gotta, we just keep delaying until it's like, do you guys remember freaking Merrick Garland? Like, that was not that long ago. And, and they I, just refused. They didn't have shit. They just yeah, they didn't even have a reason. They, they just refused. Just nope, nope. We gotta wait till the election. Like this is important. We gotta wait. And like that was their reason. And so now, it's just is so hypocritical. It's like disturbing. And I mean, I guess so. That's the thing. Is like 
if the if the Republicans, conservatives were just calling politics on this, like, sure, but you can't just do that after you just spent years doing that. So it's so, it's so now, frustrating. Now, now, but now the Republicans are on the offensive. Defensive. They put out a bus that says "Woman for Kavanaugh" has his face all over that shit, and the picture is like fucking. I would say half, nah, less women than men. Wow, this is nuts. Women for Kavanaugh. Yeah, and so that was like a really mysterious thing. Like, Seven men. Chuck Grassley, who's the chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee, apparently, like, Shit, there's less women within, than men. after a day or two of the How did you <coughs> that bus allegation first so going quickly? public, that would take was, at least two days to wrap that shit. Yeah. That's, they, knew, they, 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 knew, they knew about this shit. They knew this shit was coming. And, and why would there be a bus called Women for Kavanaugh? Why would there be a grassroots is this, is the movement same shit that, of Women that, for Kavanaugh? Like, Johnson what did. the hell? This just came out of nowhere all of a sudden. Like, it's the same shit that Boris Johnson did with Brexit. He just slapped that shit on the bus. And that shit convinced so many people because we saw it on a fucking bus. Yeah. So people specifically said we voted for Brexit because we saw it on a bus. <laughs> Apparently that is a thing for people, so, so you see it on the bus, it just also gets a whole lot more real. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, um, well, anyway, that became a meme, but now the next thing that they did was attack Cory Booker, because Cory Booker, um, he confessed and apologized to groping somebody, and he wrote about a time in 1984 when he that he groped a female friend's breast after the two of them had kissed. And he wrote that while he was a student in Stanford at, in the 1990s, like saying that, yo, I fucked up and shit. And basically, I, I'm reading the quote of, he says, with the Top Gun slogan ringing in my head, I slowly reach for her breast. That's just a weird ass fucking line. Yeah. But, yeah. Anyway, he admitted to that and the Republicans have dug that up mostly because Cory Booker was vocal as shit. And released a bunch of shit that he wasn't supposed to but they attacked him saying that what's the difference between um kavanaugh and his shit well the differences are that i mean i think that's a super obvious and apparent difference like he's writing about it from like a regretful learning from standpoint like and he's being like he's outing himself yeah to Say and how he, he was honored wrong. himself in 1990. Yeah, so I don't. Know, like, I think it's just nothing. They're just trying to throw anything out there, yeah. and so they're. The only difference is that he admitted to it. Yeah. And Kavanaugh is a legend, but Kavanaugh is rape, and his shit is sexual harassment. So a little bit of sexual assault too, but yeah, it's they're not the same thing. Like even the context, he'd already finished making out the girl. It was kind of was kind of fucked up. But there was a little bit more precedent than Merritt just fucking trying to. I said Merritt because you said Merritt Garland. Kevin yeah. just trying to rape somebody. Yeah, and also what's interesting is so uh, there were going to be other people. Um, so Christine Blase Ford is a professor at, uh, in California, <coughs> a psychology professor, I believe. And um, she says that this other guy who went to the prep school that they did, um, was in the room, this guy named Mark Judge, who's friends with Kavanaugh, and he's a, said that he does not want to testify, but he did originally deny that it happened along with Kavanaugh, or deny that they were there at the party. But he's also like written a book called like, Wasted Tales from a Gen X Drunk or something like that, and it's just like chronicles about all the heavy drinking that he did his, in his high school days. And there's a character, like a fictional character in the in his memoir called Bart O. Kavanaugh. Talks about him like vomiting in the back of a car. And then apparently there's like a yearbook of Brett Kavanaugh that like refers to a lot of partying. Like some comments in there that refer to a lot of heavy drinking stuff. But anyway, so that guy's not gonna testify. But it's just like that's that's the dude who's like basically we're all counting on like that guy's <laughs> to make the call. Like, all right, man, did he do it? He says no. Like Kavanaugh says no. Not Mark bad. Judge says no. We're good. That's what they want to happen. That's probably what's gonna happen. 
But yeah, yeah we'll just see how it plays out. And we'll let you guys know next week. Anyway. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, we'll see how it plays out. And I mean, it's going to be something that even if he does get nominated, it'll like always kind of be there. So I feel like the Anita Hill thing, that it's still there and it's still conservatives are like, oh, it's bullshit. It was all bullshit. And still liberals are like, Anita Hill was right. Everyone fucked up and that didn't believe her. But what it did result in was a lot. Apparently there were only like two women in the Senate before mm. Clarence Thomas's confirmation. And like that went up like dramatically in the following yeah. elections. Because they made a lot of women upset about yeah, the way that I mean, anytime, the committee anytime handled that it. Anytime that kind of shit like, happens, more women start to participate. When Trump became president, a bunch of women started running for, for office and shit. Yeah. Like everywhere, even small government and actual federal government shit. Yeah, and so I mean, I think that could be kind of the big, even if it, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Like it could go any which way at this point, but even if it does just go, it gets gonna nominated get nominated and whatnot, like I still think there's gonna be that. There's gonna be that divide that lives on, and then there's gonna be a lot of, I don't know, just women kind of starting reacting to, to it, I guess. So. Yeah, but anyway, that's our show to, for this week. Yep. Yeah. Catch you next week.